Well, the union budget announcement is here. Here are the big takeaways. First of all, to begin with, there will be a review of the Income Tax Act within six months' time to reduce all disputes and litigation. So the big announcement is really coming in income tax. Uh, new tax slabs have been announced. They're on your screen right now, and also there's a description in this video. It will result in a total saving of about 17,500 rupees a year. That's a little more than a thousand rupees a month. Now, there's also an increase in the standard deduction for salaried employees up from 50,000 rupees to 75,000 rupees and deduction of family pension for pensioners up from 15,000 rupees to 25,000 rupees. There's a small saving there as well. The second big announcement in the startup sector is going to really be rejoicing here. Angel tax has been abolished for all classes of investors. Now, angel tax was actually a very contentious tax that the government had imposed on funding raised by startups if the valuation at which the funding was raised exceeded the company's fair market value. They would have to pay an income tax. Now, it was largely considered unfair in the startup world. It has now been removed altogether. Number three, taxing equity investments. Now, equity investments that are held for less than one year, that short-term capital gains tax has been increased to 20% from the existing 15%. Long-term capital gains tax has been increased from 10% to 12.5%. Also, securities transaction tax on futures and options has been increased as well. The stock market was really disappointed about this one. But it does seem that from looking at the fine print, that the tax benefit of real estate has actually changed because you are paying a lower long-term capital gains tax, but in an attempt to simplify it, indexation as a benefit has been removed. So I'll give you an example. If you bought a home or your parents bought a home and you held it for a very, very long time and then sold it at a large profit, you'd be required to pay something called long-term capital gains tax. But there was the benefit of indexation, which meant that you could factor in inflation into the rise of that price. And so not all of it would have to be taxed. Now, the final number has been reduced, but the indexation has been taken away. Real estate stocks reacted quite badly to that. Now, number four, there was a massive focus on the two new allies. So remember, this government, the BJP, did not have a full majority and they needed help from the JDU and the TDP. So Chandra Babu Naidu and Nitish Kumar. And they, both of these allies, had asked for special status for their states, which is Bihar and Andhra Pradesh. Special status has not come. But what came instead is a lot of attention to these two states from within the budget. Now, 26,000 crore rupees has been announced for various infrastructure in the state of Bihar. 15,000 crore rupees for the development of Andhra Pradesh's new capital, Amravati. Now, remember, these are both allies and their special status has not come and we'll have to see how they react to that change. Bihar also got the largest share of the tourism pie. Lots of announcements there. The Vishnu Pad Temple in Gaya and the Mahabodhi Temple in Bodhi Gaya will get corridors on the lines of the Kashi Vishwanath Temple corridor. There's also the Nalanda University, which will be developed as a center of learning and a tourism hub. The government will also provide 11,500 crore rupees to Bihar for flood mitigation, along with a couple of other states in the east of India. So lots of special attention there to Bihar and some to Andhra Pradesh, but we'll have to still see what those reactions are going to be politically. Number five, there was a lot of talk about increasing employment. Remember, going into this election, unemployment was a massive issue. Here are the announcements that were made. An internship opportunity for one crore young people in the top 500 companies over the next five years. It's sounding a little similar to what the Congress party had uh, sort of promised in their manifesto. An allocation also of 1.48 lakh crore rupees for education, employment and skilling. Also financial support for education loans of up to 10 lakh rupees for higher education in domestic colleges for young people who are not eligible for any other government scheme. And also one month wage for all newly entering the workforce in the formal sector in three installments of 15,000 rupees. So a couple of these including a subsidy on the EPFO for new employees. But it does seem, of course, that a lot of these announcements are in the formal sector and not for gig workers or informal workers 
where the unemployment problem really lies in our country. There was mention of women participation in the workforce, an allocation of 3 lakh crore rupees for schemes benefiting women and girls. We don't have specifics of which scheme and how much, and we're going to look at the fine print for that. And also specific to women participation, they said women's hostels and creches and skilling programs. Again, it's not a very specific sort of plan as of now. Here's a look at everything that has become more costly or more expensive and what's become cheaper. It's cheaper to begin with. Mobile phones, accessories and chargers, custom duty has come down by 15%. Gold and silver cheaper because custom duty has been reduced by 6%. Platinum by 6.5%. Cancer treatment medicines, three specific cancer treatment medicines will be exempt from custom duty. And TDS on e-commerce has been reduced from 1% to 0.1%. That's all good news in that area. What becomes more expensive? Non-biodegradable plastic customs duty has been increased by 25%. Now, certain telecom equipment has also had a higher customs duty. And ammonium nitrates, fundamentally used in fertilizers, customs duty has been increased by 10%. And we'll wait for a reaction from the farming community on that. Some of the big misses, according to those who are analyzing right now, to begin with, the finance minister, Sitaraman, announced, started off by saying that the main focus is Garib, Yuva, Annadatta and Nari. But no real specific announcements coming for any of these four categories inside of that budget. Number two, the government has kept capital expenditure unchanged from the interim budget at 11 lakh point 11 crore rupees. Now, up till now, the cornerstone of most successive years of the Modi governments over the last two terms has been to constantly push capital expenditure. In fact, the highlight in 23-24 was that the government announced a 10 lakh crore rupee capital expenditure. Capital expenditure is how much money the government is going to spend building roads and bridges and infrastructure in the country in the year. Now, it was about 4 lakh crore. They made it 10 lakh crore one year and we haven't really seen it gone up since then. But also we're seeing that they haven't managed to spend all of that money also. We'll have to take a look and see how that plays out. Now, number three miss was railways. There was no specific announcement on railways. Given the kind of accidents we have seen in the last one year, delays, the lack of facilities in the old train routes, the Mumbai local. Remember, railways used to have an entire budget on its own. Now there was hardly any mention of the railways. Number four, removing of indexation on real estate is going to hurt a lot of people a lot. The stock market crashed in response to the increase of short-term capital gains tax, the securities transaction tax, and real estate stocks crashed as well. Both the uh, Sensex and Nifty were down about 1% during the speech. They've recovered since then. The interesting political reaction that I will leave you with is the Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, who came out and said in this very cryptic response, Sab kuch dheere dheere jaan jayenge, that you will get to know things slowly and in time. We don't really know what he meant by that, but we're going to have to keep a close eye on A, the fine print of this budget and the political fallout of it.